everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy friday again it's friday already i can't believe it um but i did make it out to the dollar tree i picked up a few things that i need actually i got a lot of things i actually needed and wanted to pick up this time sometimes i get very sidetracked but um i didn't hang out there too too long because it was a mess in there there's stocking stuff there was boxes in all the aisles people trying to you know stock the shelves and stuff and it was just it, everything was just all over the place it was very difficult to even maneuver through there today but anyway i will show you guys what i picked up of course i got another box of my garbage bags that i always get and they're the tall kitchen bags the vanilla scent good sense brand and you get 10 of these in here the 13 gallon ones and those are my favorites so i grab them pretty much every week when i go and then, of course, this week I did pick up two more jars of the jalapenos for my husband, who loves these. Um, he's pretty well stocked up, but I figure while they're still there, because for a while uh, we couldn't find them. So I grabbed a couple more of those so we can put them up on the shelf. And they last for quite a long time. These are good until uh, 2022, so I'm sure they'll be long gone before then. But they're an 11.5 ounce jar of the jalapenos, and those are his favorites. They did have these by the cash register today, so I took one of those. Um, it says it kills 99% of germs. It's a disinfectant spray by Homebrite. Uh, it's the first time I've seen this here. Well, they may have had it before, but it's the first time I've seen it since this whole mess started. And it is a country scent. Not sure what it smells like, but... At this point, you take pretty much what you can get as far as that stuff, so we're going to give that a try. And then I was kind of disappointed they didn't have my Fantastic Spray that I usually get, so I did pick up the Comet. I don't know what kind of a scent this has to it. Um, we shall see. If it has a really strong scent, I won't be able to use this one, except maybe downstairs. Um, but we're going to give that a try. And that's an antibacterial uh, spray cleaner. And it says, cuts through grease and grime, and that's a... 16 ounce bottle of that so if it works great and if it doesn't have a real strong odor to it I will get some more of that if I can't find the fantastic then I round the corner and I found all these containers for Christmas and since everything is such a mess this year I think I will probably be shipping different kinds of things to family and stuff um, so I picked up a whole bunch of plastic containers I opened up this one so you guys just could see the size, and I thought these were real cute. These have the gingerbread men and some hot chocolate on there. It says, oh so good, let it snow. I thought those were cute. So you get two of those for a dollar, and you get two of these little, little scalloped edge lids to them, and they're adorable. I don't know what size they are. It doesn't say, I don't think, maybe it says on this. Hang on, because I ripped that cover off. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say like quartz, pints, whatever. Nothing like that. But these are the smaller ones that I picked up. So I got three different prints of these. Those were the gingerbread men. And then I got one with, uh, it says, has some holly leaves and berries on it. It says peace on earth. And you get two in there. And then I got this one that has the truck on it. And it says, tis the season to be jolly. It's kind of hard to see because they're together. But there's only like one truck here and here. That's the other one inside. Kind of blurs it up. But I wish they would have put the, you know, like the ounces or whatever on the bottom of here, but that's a cute little size. You can kind of get the idea in my hands here how big they are. They're not huge, but I thought those would be great. Now these I picked up I was really excited about. Now I think some of these, I picked up a bunch. I picked up two of each. I think I have, let's see, did I? Two, four, I have six of these. Two, or six, yes. Make sure I had the right amount of lids here. I have them all stacked together. But these are really nice. These are huge for the Dollar Tree containers. I'll try to get one out here and they're all stacked together. All right, and this one says Mary and Bright. I think there's only two different designs in this that I got. There may have been others, but this is all that they had there today. But look how big these are. They're huge. And you could fit a lot of stuff in there. I'm thinking these are going to be great for cookies and things, and it might be great for me to sort out some of my crafting items in here, too, that I want to try to get organized. So that is the Merry and Bright one, and then I think I got three of those and three of these. Yes, I did. And these have, um, let me separate it so you can see it, so it's not all blurred together. This 
one has the gingerbread men on them too with the things. Kind of matches all the other ones that they have. So I'm assuming they probably have ones with the red truck on it, but they did not have them at my Dollar Tree. Because these are kind of the same as the um, little ones. So I got those, and then I got more containers, because if I'm not using them all here in my craft room, which I could fill these up in no time, I got these are a little bit smaller ones. And these are just all plain. There's nothing on these. And what did I get? I got six of these, too. Um... But these are a really nice size. They're not real deep. But you can fit quite a lot of stuff in there, too. And then the lids on this one are what it is different. And then these have the, the gingerbread people on there. And their little gingerbread house is Comfort and Joy. Um, this one has... They did have more prints in this one. This one has the truck with a snowman that says Merry Christmas on it. And then these lids say Santa's cookies. And I thought these were great for a dollar. I am always looking for storage containers for stuff. And, you know, Dollar Tree doesn't usually have anything this big. So I may actually go back and stock up on some more of these just to get things organized in this craft room. And then they have these um, really cute kitchen towels. They have the sets. I didn't get the uh, pot holders and things that they had too, but they're really nice. They have the ones that look like an oven mitt. And then they have the regular pot holders too. This says Gnome for the Holidays. And these guys are adorable. I love the prints on the stuff they have this year. It's very clear and it's they're cute. You know, sometimes when you get these, it's kind of like faded out looking or whatever. But this year they've really stepped it up on their little designs. But I thought those were ador adorable. The weirdest thing I did notice with some of the kitchen towels is that it, they have glitter on the kitchen towels. And I just thought that was really weird. I don't know who would want to wipe their hands in the kitchen and get covered in glitter. I mean, they were pretty, but I didn't pick up any of those. And then I got some little gift bags. I thought these would be great. You get three for a dollar. But only one of them has this, like, raised um, ornament on it. They're all like that. Just the first bag does. But they're still very pretty. And I love this size just to put a little something in for someone. And then I actually got two of this one. <coughs> This one has, where's, there it is. I'm trying to find the one with the little ornament that's raised. But like I said, it's only on the one bag that has that. So you just give that to your favorite person. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway. So, I like those. And then these bags I picked up. I absolutely love these bags. I don't know what I'm going to do with these bags. I may use them for gifts. But these would be beautiful to even frame. Look at this Santa. And it's not a real shiny thing. You could do this as a picture. I just thought this was gorgeous. So I got one of those in that print. And they're big. These are really, really big. Um, I guess I don't know how big anything is here. But, you know, they have the handles in there. Well, actually, this one's missing a handle. Well, maybe we will be using this one for a picture. He's missing a handle. I didn't even notice that. But that's okay. And then I got this guy here. I thought this was real cute with the penguins and the snowman. They're adorable. Look at that. And like I said, they're not real shiny. And they're the same on both sides. So you could make two things out of this if you wanted to make something with these. And this picture, this one definitely I am going to frame somehow. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this Santa and the little kitten on there by the world. He's showing him where he's heading. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that print. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And again, it's on both sides, so you could do two. And then the little tag that comes with it has the same picture on it. Um, I just think that is gorgeous. So I am definitely going to do something with this. I don't know what, but i got to find something to do with that. Love it. And then I found these bigger trees, and they're all stuck together. And I wish they would have had more of these, but of course, you know, it's my luck every time I go to the Dollar Tree that was only, they only had one. And they sell them in the packs of two, but these are much bigger. These are, um, hang on. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler here. These are really tall. Let me see how these measure up here. Well, turn it the right way. There we go. I want to say they're close to eight inches tall. So, but they didn't have a lot of these, so if you see them, you might want to grab them because I didn't see any more in boxes or anything. 
but I'm going to keep on the lookout for this one because I like this one. But they have them in that, and then they have it in the gold. I thought that was really pretty. And then they have it in the silver, and then they have this in this real shiny tinselly green, which is really pretty too. So I got those. I have glitter. I've been wearing glitter for days. I did my water globes yesterday, and uh, yeah, I have glitter everywhere. So let me set those aside here. And then I picked up two more sleighs. Last week I found the silver ones, and this week I got two of the the red sleigh ornaments. These are really nice, and they're like tin. And I thought these would be really pretty to do something with. I may actually hang one on my tree and then do something with the other one. And then I grabbed some more of these little figures because I used a lot of them up in the, my water globes. Look at this glitter everywhere. I don't even know where all that... Oh, that came off the trees. I picked up the Santa and the Snowman and Mrs. Claus again. And then I got two more of these. These I haven't seen since uh, last the end of last year. These came back out again. I didn't see these last week. And I love these with the little street lamps and the little bench. And I think the one last year, it was just a brown bench, but this year they're, they're painted red. And I love these. These look really cute inside the water globes, too. So, put them back in my stockpile of little miniatures. And then these I was using yesterday, too, and I was hoping to find more. And they did have some, so I grabbed another one of these. And these are just calling trim... Um, Ribbon trim, actually. You get nine feet of it on here, and it's really pretty. I love this. Is, these two were my absolute favorites when I opened them up. And I usually I use these on the base of my water globes, and they look really pretty on there. So I was happy to get a couple more of those. And then I did pick up a few more of the trees, because I do want to do some more um, Christmas DIYs that I need some trees for. And I absolutely love these. They're really nice. So... Their, the Winter Village collection is just really cute this year. And when I did pick up this stuff, not Christmas at all, but I used, oh, I don't want glitter on this, um, the nautical rope, and I love it that it's skinnier now, so I did get a couple more of those because I use these a lot. So, and sometimes you can't find these at Dollar Tree, but you get nine feet of the nautical rope on there, and uh, yeah, this is really nice. So, got two more of those. And then, oh, I picked up these little guys just for fun. These are little guys, you know, you hop, you, you hop them up. You wind them up, and they hop. I'm actually going to play with these with my birds. I know it sounds crazy, but my kayak will probably love to chase these around. I don't know. We'll see. He may be afraid of them. And then I got the snowman. Oh, this guy was what? He's a penguin. But they're so cute. So we're going to wind them up and let them hop and see what happens. And then the last thing I have here, I was really happy to find these. I grabbed a whole bunch. I felt like I was being greedy, but you know what? They had a ton of it there. They had like two giant rows of these things. So I grabbed three of these, and they're called Berry Garlands. You get nine feet, and they did have one of these out for fall, and they came and went so fast. I saw them once. I never saw them again. So if you see these, you might want to grab them if you want them. So I got three of the white berries, and it's on like a... It's covered all in brown. It's really nice. And it's, you know, it's wired, so you can bend it and do whatever. And then I actually picked up three of the, I thought I got four of these. I guess I didn't. Three of the red berries. I really like these a lot. And then they had them in gold. I just picked up two of the gold, because I'm not sure I'm going to use too much of the gold ones. Maybe like in a centerpiece or something, this would look pretty. But I really like the green ones, and the, or the red ones and the white ones, rather. But that is what I grabbed at the Dollar Tree today. I think I was pretty good considering I didn't hang out there too long. And it was so, I don't know, everything everywhere. But I'm really happy with all those containers. And I may go back and get some more of those to just use here in my craft room to organize all my little things like this that I get at Dollar Tree all the time. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.